Alright, good day. I think we've all heard that uh, if we add a monkey and we give it a typewriter and we uh, put it in a room and we trained it how to type and we said, there you go, Mr. Monkey, you have until the rest of eternity type away that that monkey would type the works of Shakespeare. Well, I think that's highly unlikely because, uh, well, there are too many possibilities of what the mon monkey could type, even if you would give it, um, you know, until the end of time, it would still be extremely unlikely, extremely unlikely that it would, uh, would do it. It might do it, but nobody, nobody would know. Anyway, that's besides the point, anyway. Um, what I want to talk about is uh, my little solution to this uh, to this, it's just my little simulator What uh, I wrote this program long 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 time ago and I thought I would uh, uh, just demonstrate it for you now so uh, what we have is a target text, you can type in target text and what what this little thing will do is it will generate a string of uh, letters and compare it to the target text and if it matches then it will butt out uh, but if it doesn't match then it will add a letter onto the end and remove a letter from the start and so you have a continual uh, stream of letters that uh, that it's uh, checking continual stream of random letters anyway anyway so uh, so that's uh, basically the user interface we have target text uh, text there these are just results here time taken that's milliseconds uh, this is number uh, this is number of loops or the number of letters uh, that had to be added until the uh, target text was generated and this is how many uh, actually that's loops per milli millisecond this is all in milliseconds so that's loops per millisecond so this program is pretty fast Anyway, so uh, that's that's just an overview of the uh, user interface there. We're going to take a look at the code. Here is the code. So uh, we're going to start off. Yeah, this is the main form. Um, I throw a stopwatch on the uh, as a private member on most of the forms that I that I uh, that I program nowadays because it's it's just handy for determining how. Uh, how long things take. So anyway, so here is the uh, button, uh, the start button, click event. Uh, just some basic validation here. If validation passes, then we are gonna start the stopwatch. Um, actually, maybe the stopwatch should be started inside the uh, inside there because we're validating. Yeah, we're validating the uh, uh, the text box text right here because if that fails validation, we would have had the uh, stopwatch started. And uh, yeah, who knows? But anyway, uh, disable the uh, start button, and I delegated the uh, background worker process to a sub called begin text test. If I want to trigger it from somewhere else on the uh, start button. Uh, but for a form this simple or for a project this small, yeah, uh, maybe a little redundant, but who cares, who cares anyway, so this is the, uh, uh, yeah, so what, what are we doing here, the number of loops, the number of loops is the, uh, is just this guy, uh, yeah, that's all it is, number of loops is, is that guy there. Anyway, so where were we? Uh, yeah, we're just passing that as, in as a parameter. We're grabbing it out, and yeah, we're just running the sim simulation that many times. Anyway, and we're accumulating the total number of loops. So run simulation. What does that do? Go to uh, not type definition. Go to definition. There we go. Yeah. So what do we do? Yeah, my class text generator class. Uh, we give it a target text and then we run it so text generator here oh and we return the number loops uh, so text generator here so instantiation 
new yeah that's instantiation so create alphabet so what do we have here we have an alphabet uh, which is a list of letters to choose from um, and we're creating an alphabet upon instantiation there um, I, uh, there's the uh, target text property it's pretty basic stuff this start routine here um, what we're doing is we're loading up um, a string for the first loop uh, so preload, preloading, uh, generated, uh, generating a string just to check for the first loop here, and then what we're doing is uh, removing the first letter of the string and adding a random letter on the end, um, and then just continuing the loop, and then every time it, it's running the check, does it match? If it does match, then get out. If it gets out, it will return, or or the um, the or that this yeah this property will be accessible from uh, to return from this function just so that we can determine how many loops it took and throw the results in the uh, in the grid and that's it in pretty well a nutshell. It's a pretty basic program. If you did if you did want to search you know randomly for te well if you did want to match text this would be a, an awful way of doing it this is a brute force um, method of doing it um, for, for, for small piece of text just like anything under under let's say seven characters uh, this this works okay um, I'm just going to add a, f a fifth character there. See, took ten times. Well, there you go. It took fourteen times longer there. I'm going to add another character there, and this will this will take a while. So it, each each time it gets exponentially uh, bigger because there there's um, there are for each digit you're going up in power of twenty seven or twenty six uh, combinations. So yeah, I'm not really too concerned about the maths behind it. I'm not very good at maths, but uh, I was more I'm more concerned about the programming behind it and and uh, how to uh, uh, how to trap the results, display the results in a grid and into something that's usable. Uh, that's what that's what I'm concerned about. Anyway, anyway, that's a monkey typewriter simulator. Um, again, it's not a very efficient way of doing something like this. Um, a much more efficient way of doing something like this would be using a gene uh, genetic algorithm. That's something I'm going to be covering in the uh, next video. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching, and we'll we'll see you next time.